Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back to talk about some of the most synthetic smelling fragrances that I've got in my collection. I was talking about this fragrance recently when I was talking about some of the worst quality fragrances in my collection and it gave it sparked the idea of talking about some of the more synthetic smelling perfumes that I've got in my collection. Now, um, aside from this one, I adore every single one of these perfumes. So synthetic to me doesn't necessarily mean bad, but they are definitely don't smell like natural fragrances. So if you're somebody that hates synthetic smelling fragrances, this will be a, a good video for you to watch to know what perfumes to stay away from. Um, if you're like me and you don't mind, then I bet you will have some perfumes on this list that you love too. So anyways, I've got quite a few. I'm gonna jump right in. So the first one that we're gonna talk about, this is one of the most synthetic smelling perfumes in my collection. This is a fragrance from Al Rahab and this is called White Horse. This is a spray perfume. I've also got the, the um, oil and the oil does not smell quite as synthetic as the spray perfume does. For some reason, this spray perfume is very, very synthetic smelling. Yeah, I don't even know what the notes are in this. This one is hard to even describe because it doesn't smell like anything that is found in nature. It's a little bit sweet. I get this weird kind of nuttiness from it, but I don't think it's got anything nutty in it but it's kind of, it's a little bit sweet. It's kind of like a creamy synthetic vanilla and some kind of a synthetic fruit. This one, it's very hard to explain. I don't have anything else like this in my collection, but it is incredibly synthetic smelling. I like this one. This is one that I need to be in the mood to wear though, because it's, I, this isn't one that I could wear super often. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's a strange fragrance. I really like it. I like the oil a lot better than I like the spray perfume. I bought the spray perfume thinking that I would layer them, but I don't think that I will because the spray perfume is, because it's so synthetic smelling. Um, I think that, and the oil is synthetic smelling, but it's not nearly as bad as this. I feel like it might be overkill if I layered them. So yeah. In fact, this perfume, I may end up using the perfume, the spray perfume is like an air freshener because it just, the spray perfume, it just smells so, so synthetic. Um, it smells good, but I don't know. It's almost, you almost get the feeling that you're spraying like an air freshener on you or something. But anyways, that is the first one. That is called White Horse from Al Rahab. Okay, this next one, I absolutely adore this fragrance. I love wearing it. I have no problem with how this smells, but it does smell quite synthetic. This is a Britney Spears fragrance and this is Britney Spears VIP private show. Um, this one is very, very different smelling than the original private show. Private, the original private show is this really yummy gourmand. It's kind of like a sweet, caramely, coffee, like coffee fragrance. This one is actually really similar, but this has got this has got some kind of like a fruit or a berry in the top. So it's really sweet. It's got a little bit of a tartness to it, but you still have that yummy, like caramely coffee in the base of this one. So it's like Private Show, but there's some kind of a tart, tartness, fruit, berry, something in the top. And I think this one has got some citrus in the top as well. I adore this perfume. I love it so much. This one actually performs really, really well too. Um, this one always, I had the, so I had this bottle and then I had Private Show in this exact same bottle and, um, same size and everything. This one always performed way better than my original private show. Now that I've got that tester bottle of private show, I think that, I don't know, I think they actually perform really similarly now, but this has always been a really good performer for me and I adore this perfume. I love it. It's again, it's one of my favorite celebrity scents, but it does smell really synthetic. There's nothing, it does not smell like anything found in nature at all. Um, it's, it's a synthetic one, but I 
love it. So anyways, that is Britney Spears VIP private show. This next one, this has always been a super weird perfume. And part of the reason it's so weird is because it smells so, so synthetic. But I adore this fragrance. Like, do not get me wrong. I love this perfume. This is a fragrance from, it's called, it's a house called Rihanna. Not like the singer Rihanna, but Rihanna, like R-I-H-A-N-A-H. -H. You can find these on Fragrance X. They're quite affordable. It's a Middle Eastern house, and this one is called Velvet Amber Oud. Oh my goodness, do I love this perfume. It smells like an incense-y, oudy fragrance, but it's got this freshness in it, and in the notes, the notes are so weird and obscure. In the notes, in the top notes, it says it's got like fresh mountain air or something. And there is this really weird freshness in the top. And then in the middle, you get this kind of, kind of like an airy incense and then like an oud. But like, again, it's more of like an airy oud. Everything about this fragrance is very light. It's not heavy at all, but it is absolutely nuclear. Sorry, we've got ambulan ambulances coming. Yeah, everything about this fragrance is light, but it's an absolutely nuclear perfume. This is, you could put a few sprays on and you're good for 12 plus hours. It's nuclear. It's such a strange fragrance though, and it's strange because whatever that mountain, fresh mountain air in the top is, it smells really, really unnatural. It smells very synthetic, but the whole perfume is really, really light and unlike anything I've ever smelled. It's just a, it's a good perfume. But again, it smells like nothing you will ever smell in nature. It's very synthetic smelling, but like in the best way possible. So anyways, that one is called Velvet Amber Oud from Rihanna. This next one, this is probably gonna be controversial, but I've always felt like this smells super, super synthetic. I love it, don't get me wrong, but it smells incredibly synthetic. This is Zara, a sweet pastry in Paris. This is like a lemon, it's like vanilla and lemon. It smells like a lemon, like a lemon pie or something. Like you get the tart, sweet lemon filling, like a tart, sweet, creamy lemon filling and a pie crust. That's what it smells like. It's incredibly synthetic though. The kind of crust aspect of it, where you almost can smell some kind of a pie crust, is very, very synthetic smelling. There's nothing natural smelling about this at all. I mean, the lemon, when you first spray it, you get this really beautiful tart lemon, which kind of smells like a natural lemon, but nothing else in the perfume smells natural at all. It just smells really, really synthetic. Um, I haven't worn this one for a long time. I'm gonna leave this one out and wear it because I don't even remember how, well, I do. This one, it never, it didn't perform well. I think I could get, I don't know, a couple hours out of it at when I first got it. But again, the, this liquid, it has darkened up a ton. So I'm gonna wear this one because this one, it may have really um, deepened up some because it's changed color like a lot. So anyways, that is Zara, a sweet pastry in Paris. Next, we've got another Zara perfume. This is a fragrance called Rose Gourmand. This is a dupe of a Montal fragrance or a Mancera, whichever, I think it's Mancera, Rose's Vigny. I love this perfume, don't get me wrong. It's like a rose and vanilla. Oh, it's so good. It's like a woody rose vanilla fragrance. It's incredibly synthetic smelling to me though. Even the Montal or the Mancera version, I think it's Mancera, Rose's Vigny. Even the Mancera version. They, it's just a fragrance that no matter who makes it, it smells very, very synthetic to me. There's something about the rose, the rose and the vanilla and the woods in it that just smells incredibly synthetic. Don't get me wrong, I love it. I think it's gorgeous. It's nuclear. Even this Zara version is nuclear. Um, and the Mancera version is absolutely nuclear. So great perfume, great quality perfume, it just, it smells really, really synthetic to me. I absolutely adore it though. So anyways, that is Zara Rose Gourmand. Okay, this next one, this one might be unpopular or this might be an unpopular opinion as well, 
but I'm sorry, I feel like black opium and every version of it smells incredibly synthetic. I love it, don't get me wrong. I don't mind that it smells synthetic. I don't mind synthetic smelling perfumes as long as they smell good, it doesn't bother me at all. Oh, and I love this one. This is the extreme or the intense, yeah, this is the extreme version. And I love this one. It really does just smell like a more intense version of black opium. This one performs better than black opium as well. Um, I've got both. I've got this one and I've got the original black opium. This one I can get, I don't know, six-ish hours out of or so. Regular black opium, I can only get a few hours out of that before it's completely gone. This one I get about twice as much time. I love this one. This is for some reason, there's something in this one that I almost get like a strong black tea. Yeah, I almost get like a strong black tea note. There's nothing in it that's tea-like though, so I don't know why my nose perceives that, but I almost get this really beautiful strong black tea. But this is beautiful. It's flowers, it's orange blossom and jasmine and coffee and vanilla. It's sweet. I love it, but... Nothing about this smells natural. It smells very, very synthetic to my nose, but I love it. It's, it's amazing, but just a synthetic smelling fragrance. So anyways, that is why I sell black opium. Next, we've got the one that started this whole thing. This is Harajuku Lovers um, G. This is the Pop Electric one. It's funny because some people, well, it just depends on your skin chemistry. Some people, this smells amazing on them. I can totally see that. Out of the bottle, it doesn't smell awful. It smells like a really beautiful coconutty pineapple daiquiri. Yeah, but as soon as I spray it in the air, it gets, it smells really, really chemically, and then definitely on my skin, it smells like straight up chemicals. This is one that I'm gonna end up using as an air freshener because it smells like one of those trees that you hang in your car. I could see if this works on you, I bet it's amazing on because it would smell like the yummiest, sweet pina colada. And I could totally imagine that, but it's just not, it just doesn't work for me. For me, it smells like an, you know, a little air freshener tree that you hang in your car. This is the only one that I don't like. It's, this is like, out of hand synthetic for me. It's just way, way too synthetic. It smells like spraying straight up chemicals on. Um, so this is the only one that I don't love, but yeah, I'll use it as an air freshener and it'll be totally fine. I picked it up at TJ Maxx for like, I don't know, like maybe $12.99 or something. Maybe not even that, maybe like $6.99. I don't know. It was really inexpensive. So It'll be fine, but yeah, this is like, this is the most synthetic smelling fragrance on this list for sure. So anyways, that is Harajuku Lovers G Pop Electric. Okay, next we actually have a Juicy Couture fragrance and I, I could have included, well, I think the only Juicy Couture fragrance, the only other one that I could have included was Juicy, uh, Viva La Juicy Noir. To me, that's a very synthetic smelling fragrance. I absolutely love it, but it's synthetic, and so is this one. Yeah, what is this one? Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. I love this one. This is like a caramel. It's Viva La Juicy with caramel, basically, and I adore this fragrance. It's beautiful. It's a people pleaser. It's a man killer. It's a good fragrance. I love it. All of the Viva La Juicies really, though, smell pretty synthetic. Um, this one for sure though, something about that caramel on top of the Viva La Juicy DNA really makes it smell very synthetic and it really does, but I don't care. I love this one. I've had a bottle of this in my collection for, gosh, probably the last 10 years at least and I love it. And it's funny because I always just buy little half ounce bottles of it because I don't wear it a whole ton. I usually... In fact, I don't know why I didn't wear it this fall, but I'm gonna leave this one out and I'm gonna give this some love because I haven't worn this one yet this year and I need to be while it's still cold. I do love this though, but it is very synthetic smelling and I mean, it just is what it is. So anyways, that is Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. I love it. Okay, this next perfume that we're gonna talk about, this is actually one of the greatest loves of my life. This will be in my top 15 for life. This is probably my favorite hot weather fragrance 
yeah, it is. It, this is my favorite hot weather fragrance. I This is an old signature of mine. I had it in my collection for probably 10 or 12 years, and then I went through it and I didn't repurchase it until, I don't know, maybe a year ago I repurchased this, and I cannot imagine not having this perfume in my collection. I adore it. Oh my gosh, I just, we just, I, my husband just called, we've got a piece of property, yay! I'm so excited. Okay, so back to the perfume. So the perfume that I'm talking about is this one here. This is uh, Moschino I Love Love. This is one of my favorite perfumes in the world. I, I didn't have it for probably a good five years or so that I didn't have it in my collection. And I just picked up this bottle off of Mercari, I wanna say about a year ago. And when I started wearing it again, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know how I went so long without having a bottle of you in my life because it is amazing. Oh my gosh, it smells like, like fizzy citrus and green notes. It smells like some kind of a fizzy citrus tonic. It is the most beautiful, refreshing, but it's got a lot of body to it. That's why I love it because it's a citrus fragrance that is still kind of heavy and it's still comforting for me and it's like a cozy fragrance because it's got a lot of body to it. I don't like a wispy smelling like citrus fragrance, if that makes any sense. I don't like really, really light perfumes. Every once in a while, I'll like a light perfume, but I like my perfumes to have some body to them. I like them to have some you know, some umph. <laughs> like, I just like there to be some, I don't know, I just like a heavier kind of perfume. And for me, this is a heavy citrus, and I am obsessed with this fragrance. However, this is incredibly synthetic smelling. It smells similar to Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, but this one is heavier than Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, and it is a little bit more synthetic smelling than Light Blue. It's pretty synthetic, but it, it's one of my favorite. Definitely a top 15 for life. I will never not have this in my collection again. I love it. And everybody always said that the bottle reminds them of olive oil from Popeye. And I think that the original bottle, so the original um, cheap and chic fragrance that comes with the black bottle and the red top, I'm pretty sure I read that it was meant to look like olive oil. So. I love that. So it's meant to look like olive oil. So that's just like, that's just like the icing on the cake that makes it even more amazing. So anyways, that is a Moschino I Love Love. And then last but not least, we've got Zara Violet Blossom. So this is my favorite Zara perfume that comes in this kind of budget line. So they've got this I don't know, the ones that come in bottles that look like this, um, they did write, raise the price by a dollar. These used to be $9.90, they're $10.90 now, if I, if I am still correct. They might have even raised the price more, I don't know. Um, but last I checked, they were $10.90. But from this line, this kind of cheap line that they have, this is my favorite one. This one is called Violet Blossom. This one is Cherry Blossom, maybe Vanilla and Tonka if I remember correctly. I, def I know for sure it's Cherry Blossom and Tonka. I can't remember the third note. I wanna say it's vanilla. I love this one. This one has gotten better with time too. This one has really like deepened up some since I first bought it. I've had this bottle for, I don't know, maybe four-ish years now, three or four years, and it's just gotten better with time. I love this one. Some people, um, I don't know, some people think that this smells like alien. I don't get alien, not even a little bit. This one reminds me, it smells a little bit like Poison Girl, but the EDP formulation, not the EDT. It smells like some things, but like then not at all. This one's kind of hard to explain, but I love it. It's warm and cozy but it's very synthetic smelling. Um, there's nothing natural smelling about this. Something about the cherry blossom and the tonka and the sweetness of it is really, really synthetic smelling, but in a good way. I love it. Um, it smells 
kind of slightly gourmand, but it's also perfumey at the same time. So it's definitely not like an edible smelling perfume, but there's just something really, really cozy about this one that I love. It is quite synthetic though. This one, I'm gonna leave this one out and I'm gonna wear it because last time I wore this, it only lasted, I can usually only get maybe three, maybe four hours out of these if I'm lucky. I feel like this one smells like it's deepened up some though. So I'm gonna leave this one out and I'm gonna wear this and we're gonna see if it is performing any better and I will definitely let you guys know. But yeah, that is Zara, Zara Violet Blossom, I love it. So yeah, guys, those are some of the most synthetic smelling fragrances that I have in my collection. I would love to know what fragrances you all have in your collection that you feel like are really synthetic smelling. Um, I'd love to hear the things that you guys have and how you kind of perceive them. But anyways, I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.